the golden hatchback, as we like to call it, to reveal something very, very precious inside. Here we go. Are you ready? Everybody, come on, let's have a... Here we go, it's spring-loaded. The door will come up. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We have the Royal Knight of the Theatre, Sir Laurence Olivier. <laughs> and we have the marvellous Jimmy Carr. <laughs> <laughs> so please. <laughs> Gentlemen, will you, you, will you, you step out, out, please? Ian McKellen, everybody. <laughs> John Bishop, everybody. <laughs> So I'm here at the Mother Goose launch with Oscar, who's playing Jack. How are you? I'm so good, Perry Bree. How are you, darling? I'm really good. I'm especially excited to see you've been cast in this incredible panto, mm -hmm. which is not only doing London, it's also touring. Are you excited yes. for that? I'm so excited to live out of a suitcase. <laughs> no, I love touring because for me, as much as theatre in London is so vibrant and brilliant and an epicentre of all the things that's fabulous about the arts, taking it out there and taking it to other places like my hometown, we're going to Sheffield and we're going to loads of brilliant places that don't get and see an awful lot of theatre, well, the Hampton, um, and they are going to be able to see and we're going to be able to share it with them out there, so it's wonderful. It's very exciting and of course you're going to be working with some theatre legends, legends, well TV darling. legends as well, and film legends too. Film legends. So you've got, Sir, the realm. Yeah, you've got Sir Ian McKellen, I'm so excited. you've got Mel, I've and of course you've got hilarious man John Bishop. John Bishop. What's that like for you? Terribly exciting. Um, so I'm going to be quiet, but my favourite film in the world, a film franchise, two favourite film franchises are Lord of the Rings and X-Men. Um, is over there, so I'm not going to speak too loudly. <laughs> but um, I'm going to be playing the son of Gandalf and Magneto. Mother Goose, right? <laughs> what? <laughs> Very, very Joyous. exciting. So as you're a fan, mm. I've got some really great questions for you. Okay. So um, this is called Pass or Not Pass. So it's a very quick fire are you, set if, of if questions. If I say pass, is it, are you going to say, you shall <laughs> not pass? No, yes, I'm not please. saying that. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, you know, I wish I was Sir Ian, but I'm not. So you're close, uh, Close, yeah. <laughs> so um, basically pass means to walk by, slash not have as a pet. Um, and not pass means to talk to admire, so you would have as a pet. So yes. you're not going to pass on them because you like them and you would have them in your house as a house pet. Got you. Got it? Yes. Fabulous. So the first one, of course, I've got to start with the goose. Pass or not pass? Not pass. That's right. <laughs> Duck? Not pass because when it dies, I can eat it and I love duck a la ronde. It's my favourite dish. <laughs> Delicious. Sparrow? Uh, pass. Robin? Not pass, because I love Christmas. Exactly. Rooster? Pass. I don't do early mornings. Yeah. Is that the rooster? Yeah, that is. Yeah. No, I'm not doing uh, that. Lovebird? <laughs> um, well, I would say not pass, but unfortunately, uh, with my dating history, I'm going for a straight pass. <laughs> what about a budgie? Pass. Hateful. <laughs> Hateful animals. <laughs> Vile. Okay. And a parrot? Mm, Chanel! <laughs> um, not pass. Fabulous. Finch? Green finch and linnet bird. Um, not pass. Canary? Oh, sings like a canary. Um, pass. Hey, eagle. Eagle. Bald eagle all the way. Okay. Yeah. Fabulous. We love that. Not pass. Um, and if you could pass or not pass on any of the Mother Goose characters in the show, which ones would you pass on and which ones would you not pass? I would pass on Malignia, the evil fairy, because she is cruel. I would not pass on Mother Goose because she's my ma and I love her. Oh, we love that. Well, everybody, be sure to come and see Mother Goose. It's going to be in London. It's touring. Why should people come and see the show, Oscar? Because it's a celebration of all things magical. And it's panto. It's the nation's panto being returned to us. And we're going to be going all over the place and bringing it to a town near you, darling. And we're going to have a huge amount of fun. Amazing. Thank you so much. I'll see you soon. See you soon. Cheers. Now. Hello, everyone. So I'm here with the amazing Jonathan Harvey, amazing. who is the writer of Mother Goose, which is really exciting. How are you feeling after today's launch? 
Well, I'm feeling slightly giddy. It just made me laugh when you said I'm the writer of Mother Goose, like I came up with a concept. <laughs> yes, I am. Nobody else has ever written one. The yes. Panto version, this very yes. special Panto version, which yes. of course is starring many a star, this one. Are you excited? Really excited. It's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to work with the the greats that we've got. Yeah, it's great. Absolutely. And of course, you've written Coronation Street. Can we expect any Cory puns in there at all? No. <laughs> I, don't, I don't cross fertilise. <laughs> Why should people come and see it? Oh, listen, you're going to see Ian McKellar, Mel Gedroich and John Bishop on stage together. Singing, dancing, laying golden eggs. What more could you want? Exactly. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. So I am just here with Mel, who is starring in Mother Goose. Are you excited? Super. Su I love the way you say starring, by the way. Do I, you? I play the, I play the, I play the goose. Um, I think I've got some lines. Um, I mean... <laughs> I'd say that Ian McKellen is probably the star of the show, but I will be the wind beneath his wings. Yes, oh, well... <laughs> there'll be a lot of wind in my wings as well. <laughs> Talking about wings, I've got a yes. bit of a game for you. Right, um, and this Love is called Pass or Not Pass. Good. So if you want to pass, you yes. walk by them and you won't have them as a pet. To not pass, you talk to them and you admire them and you might have them as a pet. Oh, so in real life or just in fantasy? In real life, life in real life, yeah. Right, so these on. are different types of birds. Love it. And all you've got to say is pass or not pass. Are you so ready? if I've got one in real life, then I say not pass. Correct. Or if you'd like one, you say not pass. Or if I've had one in the past. Yeah, that's oh. right. Do you like it? Yeah, love <laughs> Great. It. Love okay, it. so the first one is goose. Pa, not pass. There we go. The second one's duck. Pass. Sparrow. Not pass. Robin. Not pass. Rooster. Pass. Lovebird. Not pass. Budgie. Pass. Parrot. Pass. Finch. <gasps> Peter Finch. Kind of. Not yeah. pass. <laughs> Not pass. Canary. Not pass. Eagle. <laughs> Eagle. One landed on me in um, Tenerife. In the restaurant area, it was the kind of thing that they did every Wednesday night, and they had this massive eagle um, flying around this restaurant in Tenerife. It was absolutely terrifying. It was knocking waiters' drinks off because its wingspan was so huge. Oh. So I'm going to say not pass because I have experienced an eagle, but I wouldn't want one as a pet. It's quite a long answer. Quick fire, isn't it? I'm so sorry. That's fine. I love that. Um, and why should people come and see Mother Goose on tour? <gasps> It's going to be, we hope, we pray, we assume. It will be. <laughs> um, it's going to be joyous, I think. And it's going to be full of surprise and treats. And mainly, it's going to be full of Ian McKellen. Which, <laughs> I think you'll agree, is reason enough to go and book that ticket straight away. Indeed it is. And I have seen you in company. I think it's worth seeing for you as well. So oh. there you go, Mel. Well, thank you so much. Thank have you. a great day. You Cheers. too. Thank you so much. I am here with Sir Ian McKellen and the amazing That's John me. Bishop. I'm Sir Ian McKellen. And, 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 and the amazing John Bishop, about Yes, them. you are. Um, they're both starring Mother Goose, which is incredible. Now, I have one question for you both because I feel like the first panto is a very special one for you. What was both of your first panto? Oh, that's a good question, isn't it? Because I, I'll be honest, I didn't as a as a boy go to pantos because they, they they weren't around and it just wasn't a thing that we did. So I started taking my kids to a panto when I was in one, oh. which was Dick Whittington. Oh. Oh, so nice. that was the first panto that I saw through the eyes of children when I brought them to watch me. Which sort of shows how big my ego is. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. You've got to be proud of what you work on, there, you know. Well, the, and the first one, of the first shows I ever saw was Peter Pan, but it wasn't done as a pantomime. It was, uh, it was, um, it was, it was the play, which incidentally had its first performance at the Duke of York's, where we we're going to be doing our pantomime, Mother Goose. Thereafter, there were lots of pantomimes, and so many that I can't really remember which was the first, but. A very important one at the Palace Theatre in Manchester was Jimmy Jewell and Ben Warris, who were huge stars at the time in um, Babes in the Wood, and they played the robbers, I think. And I can remember lots of funny details about their performances. Yes. But I, I saw so many, I can't remember which was <laughs> actually the first... Mm. I mean, Babes in the Wood is epic, so that's amazing. Of course, everybody's yeah. got to come and see Mother Goose, which is in London, then on tour. Why should people come and see it? Because we're in it. Yeah. No, because it would be great. It would be good. And it, it's also, it's got Mel Gidroich and we've got a great ensemble of cast. And it's just going to be a drop of joy through the winter. Uh, through the winter. 
don't come by yourself. Bring a fate, a mate. Bring your family. Oh no, come by yourself. Bring, bring if your you granny. Believe, you're on their own. Come because oh, well, there'll be, you there'll come be in a you, community. You come yeah. as well, but if you could always bring your granny or your granddad, or your niece or your nephew or your brother or your sister or, or your, your neighbour or your dad. Or your neighbour. Yeah. Exactly. Bring everyone. Mother Goose, check it out. Thank you so much. All right. Well, my God, you're a salesman and a half. Thank you so <laughs> Thank much. You very much. <laughs>